I have a lentil vegetable soup on the stove, and I'm going to make tuna rolls for them now. So first I have to start with tuna. I have about one pound piece of tuna. I want it really thick so that it can sear on the outside and be really raw on the inside. Brush it with a little olive oil on one side and then the other side. Lots of salt and pepper. You want it really well seasoned. And pepper. I've got a pan that's been on high heat for two minutes. It's really hot. So it's going to sear on one side for two minutes. Don't touch it. Don't move it around. I'm going to flip it over and cook it for two minutes on the other side. And it'll be really browned on the outside and very raw inside. Perfect for tuna rolls. OK, that's two minutes one side, two minutes on the other side. Don't ever overcook tuna. It's like dry and tasteless. Don't be tempted to put oil in the pan because it'll burn by the time it's hot enough for the tuna. So a dry saute pan. So you can see it's still raw on the side, which is exactly right. OK, that's done. I'm just going to let it sit on the board while I make the dressing. It's like an Asian-inspired dressing with sesame. Can't make a vinaigrette without olive oil, no matter what inspiration it is. Two tablespoons of olive oil. The zest of a lime. I very commonly use lemons for vinaigrette, but lime's unusual. I just think it's got great flavor, and it still has that sort of citrusy bite that I like. OK, so the next thing I need is the juice of the lime. So I'm just going to roll it around a little bit. It loosens up the juice. Messy job, but worth it. Okay, one more lime. So this is two tablespoons of olive oil and about three tablespoons of lime juice. There's something about lime and tuna that really go together. Next is wasabi, which is a Japanese root like horseradish. It's really fiery, really pungent. Put in a half a teaspoon. Don't put in too much. Next is soy sauce, one teaspoon, and about five dashes of Tabasco even more heat. Two teaspoons of salt. This is a really complex but really delicious vinaigrette. One teaspoon of pepper. Just whisk it all together. OK, that's the dressing. Next, the vegetables. The avocado. I usually buy them about two days in advance and ripen them at home. I love Hoff's avocados. They're the ones that are really ugly and brown, not the bright green ones, but they're gorgeous inside. Take out the seed. Just run your finger around the inside. That's why you want it ripe but not mushy, so it just pops right out. And just a big dice. I really sort of cut it in thirds or quarters. And you want to try and be careful. You don't want to schmutz it. It's a technical term. <laughs> OK, I'm going to put this right into the vinaigrette, actually. The lime juice is going to keep it green. So I'm just going to cube the tuna. This is going to be fantastic in toasted rolls with some arugula, a little peppery bite, with a lime vinaigrette. I mean, who wouldn't want to have that for lunch? Avocado and vinaigrette. Just lift it out very carefully. I really don't want to break up the avocado. I want to keep it whole. Two tablespoons of chopped scallions. I like the white and the green parts. White parts have more flavor, but I like the green, too. And then about a quarter of a red onion, small dice. Mm, that looks delicious. And about a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds. Just add them. So that's going to add a nice little crunch to it. Toss this all together with the vinaigrette. Lime zest, lime juice, olive oil, salt and pepper. Just taste it, make sure it's good. It's a tough job, but somebody has to do it. Oh, it's so good. It's so complex. You can really taste the lime zest, a little bit of soy, the heat from the wasabi, sweetness of the avocado. OK, that's the salad. Next, the rolls. I'm going to toast them in the broiler. 
my friends Rob Marshall and John DeLuca are editing their movie Nine right down the street. I surprise them with breakfast, check, and now I'm doing lunch. So I've got a big pot of lentil vegetable soup and tuna rolls. So I'm just gonna assemble the tuna rolls. I like the peppery bite of the arugula too. A little sprinkling of salt, make sure it has lots of flavor. 